Okay, everybody. So, as I promised, I am going to do a haul video from my purchases from Enchanted Marketplace. Enchant Enchanted Market is an event. Uh, it's This is the second time it's happened. It Both times, this time it's been in Clarksville, but uh, next spring it's going to be in Conway. And it is a metaphysical and mystics market is how it's advertised. Um, all sorts of new age, metaphysical, pagan type stuff. Uh, there's music, there's all kinds of vendors, there's classes, and uh, it's a ticketed event, but they run discounts, and when you pay your ticket, the full price ticket is $10, unless they go up, and the discounted ticket was $7.50, and you have access to everything for the whole day that you pay for. You have to pay for each day separately, because it's on a Saturday and a Sunday. But it's a great value for your money because, like, for example, I paid $7.50 for my ticket. It's done through a, an app that you show at the door. Um, and I got to see Kristen Lewis play. There were classes going on I could have participated in. There was all kinds of vendors. I got to participate in all of that. So it was a great, great thing. And I was really impressed by the quality of a lot of the vendors that were there. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I got and I will try to put links to the shops because most of them have an online presence um, that you can go by and uh, purchase uh, from them online and, mo and and I will say the quality of the, the vendors there was pretty outstanding overall there were a couple that I wasn't you know they gave me kind of ugh, but for the most part I was really impressed with the quality of the vendors um, and my ugh may just be, you know, something, I don't know. I, I, I Sometimes I get the ugh off people and go, oh, no. <laughs> it may not have had anything to do with their stuff. But 99% um, of the vendors there were amazing. So I was really impressed. So what I thought I would do is show you what I got and kind of tell you a little bit about maybe my why. Uh, and then, um, like I said, just put, um, put the links down below. So the first thing that I'll show you is the very first thing that I bought, and it was something I knew I wanted to get when I went. My friend Vicki makes these beautiful crescent moon wreaths. Um, they're decorated with different flowers. She does them. Oops, she does them for the different seasons, okay? And um, or you know just whatever. There's different colors, all that, and then she puts some little something hanging off of them. This one is a little uh, charm jar, okay? And, um, yeah, so this was the main, was for sure I knew when I went, this was something I knew I wanted to get. I was really delighted that Vicki was able to be there. She sells them through her Facebook page where you can order them. So, with her permission, I will share her Facebook page. Um, and if you're interested in these wreaths, she makes them all the time and um, she can ship them. So, isn't that beautiful? So it's got the flowers here and then the little charm jar here has got little shiny sparklies in it. So, yes, and I love the leather straps and the baler twine and all of that. So this is going to hang up in here when I am when I get done uh, cleaning up and straightening up in here. Okay, then the next thing that I will share is, um, let's see, we'll start, we'll go to Green Door Farms. Green Door Farms was a little uh, couple, very cute little couple. And they were making all natural uh, balms and salves, and they had all kinds of information about the plants that they've collected. They were also selling like uh, interesting coffees and butterbeer, non-alcoholic butterbeer. And this was some skin mend herbal salve. I bought two pots of it. I think they were five dollars a piece, maybe, or I don't even think they were that much. But as much as I cut my hands up and nick my hands up, although I can make this, I wanted to try theirs and see what was what it was. It's, on this, it tells you on the back, it's got olive oil, beeswax, comfrey, calendula, plantain, chickweed, self-heal, go to cola, lavender, rosemary, essential oils, and vitamin E oil in it. So, um, well, it says $2.50, so maybe I, I don't remember. But anyway, I bought two of them because I, I wanted to try them out. It's really pretty. It's a nice green nice green color there so anyway so green door farms and they had like i said all kinds of salves and, and balms and things let's see um the next one is designs by Indri or Indri, i think was their name and they made beautiful jewelry out of gemstones okay and i had a chat with them while they were sitting at their uh, workspace or at their their vendor table 
and uh, these earrings really stood out to me, so um, I picked them up. So they are crescent moons, and they've got these little dangle drops off of them here. Uh, these are, I think these are demortarite, demortarite, I think is what these are, and uh, that's a stone of clear seeing, from what I remember. So, um, yeah, so I've got these, and that one is stuck, so I need to fix it, because it's kind of hanging wonky there. <laughs> but anyway, and then silver, silver findings, and they've got the backs on them, which is nice, because as we know, I lost one of my earrings that I really love. Then Morgana Wild was there, and she also makes jewelry. She's out of Oklahoma, and she sources as many of the components from her property as she can. Uh, this time, I bought just earrings from her, but she had some necklaces that I really loved as well. So the first ones that I'll show are, these are Coyote Claws, Agate, Brass Beads, and Niobium Wire. Okay. Coyotes have really been talking to me for some reason lately, so... Then this one is uh, Moonstone and Niobium Wire with um, just jewelers components that she purchased. And then these I bought because I was thinking about a song called Letters from the Sky by a band called Civil Twilight. And there is a great line in that song that says, One day soon I'll hold you like the sun holds the moon. And that song, for whatever reason, was in my head as I was walking past her booth, and I looked over and saw these earrings, where if you look at them very closely, it's the moon and the sun together there in these earrings. And these are components, marcasite stars, and niobium wire. So I'm very anxious to get to wear all of these. I've been saving to wear them until I showed them to you guys. So that was Morgana Wild out of Oklahoma. Then um, we'll do, let's see. Um, we'll do Sticks and Stones next. So Sticks and Stones are Joel and Rachel Green out of Clarksville, Arkansas. And they are one of the organizers of the event. And the main thing I wanted to get from them was this spider. Okay, this spider. Let me see. I don't know the best way to show the spider. Not everybody likes spiders, but I like spiders. Okay. These are obsidian stones and bobcat bones. And it's strung so that I can wear it on a necklace if I want to, either with its uh, abdomen up or down. I think that's what it's called is her abdomen. All right. But I just love that spider. And, you know, they write about the legend of the Christmas spider. So they started making, uh, they had some of these um, for hanging on the Christmas tree. And I could hang this one on the Christmas tree too, but I think I'm going to put it on the chain and wear it. Uh, that, so that was the main thing I wanted to get from them because I had looked at all the vendors online and kind of went, ooh, I want that. Ooh, I want that. <laughs> then I also got, this is a, um, a chakra beads bracelet with the different um, chakra stones represented there. So I got one of those, okay, because I felt like I, that would help me kind of get back, you know, when I need to get back centered in myself, I could have that on and just kind of rub that and, and think about that. Then the last thing that I got was a set of black walnut runes. All right, and I'm not going to pull them all out of the bag, but um, these are made on um, cuts of black walnut and then stained. Okay, so um, yeah, so I bought a set of runes, and they're in this nice little uh, corduroy bag. So that was some sticks and stones. Uh, like I said, uh, it's Joel and Rachel Green out of Clarksville, Arkansas. Then, I guess, um, the last people I purchased from, I saved them for life. No, wait, I'm sorry. Venix Rising, who was, uh, a, uh, is a yoga practitioner and also a vendor, uh, had this beautiful, this is um, pink quartz, I think. Yeah, because there was rose quartz and there was pink quartz. And they're supposed to both help with, like, self-love and compassion and things like that. So, I picked that up. So, because I like to wear my bracelets. I've got that one arm that's all these kind of stone bracelets. So, these will go on that. So, then, last but not least, you saw the interview with Stephanie Brown of Painted Cave Studio. They are certainly one that I was very excited to be there. So, I'll show you what I got from Painted Cave. Now, she was kind enough because I... Because I bought so much, she gave me a bag. <laughs> she gave me a bag. 
Uh, but anyway, so I started with, these are some of her witch's bells, okay? Now, the thing I love about these is you've got the bells, and you're like, okay, great. And then when you start really looking at it, you discover all sorts of new little things. So there's charms, there's a snake, and there's some quartz crystal, and there's some quartz chips. This looks like a piece of moonstone, a pinnacle. Then you've got like a sword and another pinnacle. And then down here, you've got a dragonfly, a wolf, and a rabbit, or a coyote and a rabbit. So this, this set really spoke to me, and I really love this. So this is actually going to hang in my bedroom window, I think. Uh, I think I'll hang it over the window in the window where the air return or the air vent is and so that when the air is on it'll kind of maybe gently blow it but anyway so stephanie made this all right then the main reason I, well i'll show you this next little thing then she did some of her miniature totem paintings and for some reason this woolly mammoth spoke to me i need to look up in their book uh what the woolly mammoth is about I have I don't know and, and it was very out of context for me to want a woolly mammoth but I wanted it and it was like buy me I, you need to go with I need to go with you so I need to look up what is about woolly mammoths then the main reason I was a tickle they were there is I have wanted now if you don't like bones probably should stop watching this video well I've already showed you bobcat bones but if you don't like bones you probably don't follow me anyway because you're about to see some bones all ethically sourced, uh, you know, from from taxidermy or hunters or whatever. None of these animals were killed as trophies. Um, but she had a coyote skull rattle in May when I was over at Vicky's, and I really, really wanted it. Well, she had sold it. So she said, well, I'll be in Clarksville in December. And I said, well, I want a coyote skull rattle. So I got there and she said, I made this with, I was thinking about you the entire time I made this. So if you don't want it, that's fine. But just know that I made this with you in mind. So this is a coyote skull rattle. It's got quartz crystal chips inside the brain cavity. Okay. She painted symbols on it. Then it has the cords on it with different stones and beads and charms and and all sorts of things uh hanging in it so um yeah this is this is this is my very precious to me so then while i was also there she had another rattle that was sitting with the coyote skull and I kept look, walking away and look, coming back and looking at it. And I kept walking away and coming back and looking at it. This is a, a doe skull. And she's got the moon phases on her. It's got a crystal handle or quartz crystal in the handle. It's got these beautiful leather strapping hanging off of it. And these beautiful symbols with gold filigree wire on it. Also a rattle. But something about this doe spoke to me. When I found out it was a doe. That was when I really, really wanted it. So, um, yeah. Then the last piece, she had some of her fine art pieces on like super, super duper sale. So much so I had to double ask her, is this really what you're charging for this? She said, yes, because if I sell it, then I can make more. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let me assist you. <laughs> so I purchased this piece from her. This is a fine art piece. This is a painted deer skull called Far Seer. It's white, a white-tailed deer skull and mixed media. It's got different symbols painted on it. It's got the turkey feathers hanging off of it here. Okay, and, it, and I like it because it has that compass sort of painted on the skull of it. So this really, really caught my attention and I walked by it three or four times um, before I decided to get it, but I was just like, I can't believe you're selling this for that cheap. And she's like, oh, yes. And she said, I'm really glad you're taking it home with you. So. so, those were my purchases. You guys saw the videos of Lewis and Krista playing, if you've been watching my Vlogmas or my Holla Vlog. Um, so, hopefully, you've gone and looked up their band camp. If you haven't, you know, that's perfectly fine, too. Um, but all of these vendors are, 
you know, they make these things from hand. There's nothing, you know, none of these were bought in a shop and just resold. And I think it's really important to support artists and makers. So I wanted, you know, I didn't intend to spend quite as much money as I did, but it was worth it to me. You know, it was one of those things where it felt right. And I had, you know, I had had the money where I could do it. So I'm glad I was able to support my friends because several of these people are friends of mine. And I was able to meet some new people and new friends. So, um, but anyway, I'll put the links for all the vendors down below and uh, hopefully you can go check out some of their stuff. So, if you haven't gone and watched the video, it's the December 10th Paula vlog. It's got uh, Krista and Lewis playing. It's got an interview with Krista, an interview with Stephanie from Painted Cave Studio. So, go check those out and give these vendors some love and tell them Deborah sent, sent you. <laughs> okay, thanks y'all. Bye. Oh, my.